What's going on YouTube? This is Ipsag me doing Explorer from Hack the Box, which was an easy Android box as long as you ran Nmap with all the ports and were able to identify some HTTP services listening on high number ports. Because if you just do the normal Nmap, all you see is port 2222, which is running a weird SSH server and nothing else. But if you run an Nmap with a full port scan, you can identify a application that listens on a bunch of HTTP ports, which has some vulnerabilities in it that allow you to download files off the Android phone. One of those files being a picture of some credentials on SSH. So you SSH your way in, enable ADB by setting up a port forward, and getting root through the ADB console. With all that being said, let's just jump in. As always, I'm going to start off with an Nmap, and I'm just going to specify OA. I'm not going to do any other arguments because I haven't ran Nmap on this box before, and I just want results quickly. So first, I'm going to create the Nmap directory, call it Explorer, then do 10.10.10.247. .10 I'm going to do dash V so it shows me open ports as it finds it. And I'm also going to set dash dash min dash rate to be 10,000 packets per second, so it should finish this almost instantly. We do have two ports open. It is 2222 and 5555. And it should be worth noting that 5555 is actually filtered, so that's not open. Um, it is explicitly blocked, though, by like IP tables or something because it is saying filtered. So we know something does listen on that port. So the very first thing, well, the second thing we're going to do is SC for default scripts, SV, enumerate versions, dash P to specify a port. And I'm just going to do a Nmap on port 2222. So this will get me the header of that. SSH often runs on port 2222, so that's what I'm guessing we'll be seeing. Probably could have done SSH-V to get it, but Nmap does such a good job at pulling banners. We can see it is Banana Studio. So I'm going to grab this, and we're going to go to Google and do SSH Banana Studio and see what this returns. And it looks like it is some type of Android application. So I'm going to start a full Nmap scan on this box because there's nothing other than port 2222, which is an SSH server. So let's do this Nmap. I'm going to do dash P dash. I'm going to specify explore all ports, dash V, and we can set min rate to 10,000. And this may be too high for you. You may want to try 5,000, may want to try not at all, and just running it. But since we have a full port scan in the box, let's now just go over to exploit DB and I'm going to search Banana Studio. I could be using Searchploit on my machine, but I generally still like going to exploit DB because I don't have to worry about like my Searchploit being out of date. Um, but yeah, so we have a few more ports. I'm going to go back to my previous Nmap command and we're going to specify the new ports we have. So 35967, then 42135, and 59777. So we don't know exactly what all these ports are. We do know this is an Android box, so I'm just going to Google each one while our Nmap is running. So I'm going to Google Android port 35967, and let's see, Android charging block. I don't really get anything from that. Let's try 42135. So copy this. We can put that here. And this is ES File Explorer. Oddly enough, it's saying port 5977, um, which is the next port open. So that is a bit odd. Uh, Android port. So maybe this application uses both uh, ports. So we have a exploit script here for it. And it looks like it is uh, just a application that listens on the web. So while that runs, I'm going to do curl 101010 247 port 59777 V. And we get a response back. It doesn't tell us what the server is. We have a 500 content type text plane, and we have just a response saying it aired out. So what I'm going to do is grab this module. Going to go copy v exploit.py, set paste, paste that in. And then we can do python3 exploit.py, and hopefully it tells us how to use it. It does. It says command ip and then file to download. So what we want to do is look at this exploit. So I'm going to v exploit.py. 
and see what commands there are. Um, the very first one I'm going to do is get device info because this seems to be the safest as in like there's no way this is ever going to fail. We could try list files, but if there's like no files to list or no pictures to list, I won't know if it actually worked. So that's why I'm going to try get device info. So let's go back here. We can say get device info IP 10 10 10 247. And we get name, VMware virtual, FTP root, SD card, and FTP port 3721. I'm going to look at the ports we have from Nmap. If 3721 was one of them, it is not. But the scan has finished, so let's go look at what results we have. So, oh, that's a lot of things. On 35967, it's some type of web server, but we just get a bunch of gibberish back. Uh, 42135, we have this file explorer. And then 59777, we have a weird JSON API. I think it's like misflagging that, or maybe this ES file explorer just uses that. But we can just keep going on with this exploit. So let's look at the other things we can do. Let's do list files. So I'm going to try list files and it looks like we can download any file off of slash so the next one i want to do is let's say list pictures uh, list pics we have a few concert anc creds and 224 so creds.jpg sounds interesting so what I want to do is type an error here so we can see how to use it. And I want to do get, so I'm guessing I want to do get file and then the picture. So the location, creds always sounds interesting. It looks like it's downloading. It saved it as out.dat. I'm going to move out.dat to creds jpeg uh, I did not mean to type mf and I have no clue uh, what mf was so I'm going to exit my tmux window and we're going to try this again so move out.dat into out.jpg and I'm going to do help mf mf-h metafont no idea what that is but we can open out.jpg and it looks like we have some credentials. So Christy and then a hard to type password. So let's see. There we go. Echo K R one S T exclamation five H at R P three X P L O R three exclamation point. So let's just copy that and then we can copy this. We can try SSH-P2222 Christy at 10101010247. Accept this, paste in the password, KR1ST exclamation point 5H at RP. I think I typed it right. KO1SD exclamation 5H. So whenever I have a question, if I type something correctly, I always like just typing it on a second line and then I can compare it. So that looks correct. Putting in my clipboard, that is fine. KRI, oh, I have no I here. And we get on to the box. So let's see what we have here. This is an Android system. I'm going to try sudo l not found. Uh, look at open ports. And we do have 5555 open. And when we did our end map, that port was filtered. So what I'm going to do is Google Android port 5555 
and we have to go to Google. It wouldn't be a video without me screwing the Google up once. And let's see, it looks like it is ADB. So I'm going to try doing ADB connect. So let's do ADB, uh, sudo apt install ADB. Yes. And then once this installs, we should be able to do ADB connect and we have to forward the port. So I'm going to um, hit squiggly C on a new line. And when I do that, it drops me in this prompt and I can say 5555 localhost 5555. And what this does is set up a um, port forward to go through SSH. So if I do nczv localhost 5555, uh, connection refused. Now I'm going to forward this port. And now we have a successful connection because it is going through SSH. So I can do adb connect, let's see, um, localhost 5555. Daemon not running, starting now, connected to localhost. See, adb console. Uh, what is the adb command? adb reboot. Let's see. Search for shell. adb shell. That's not it. But it didn't say invalid command. It says more than one device or emulator. Uh, let's see. adb help. How do we list devices? Reconnect. Man, this is a painful help. Probably partially because my screen is so big. Let's see, adb devices dash l. Devices dash l. And we have two devices. So I have to specify probably this local host. So I wonder if I do adb dash s local host 5555 shell. There we go. And if I do id, we are now root on um, adb, which is like Android debug bridge, I believe. And this just gives us um, root privileges. So or shell, who is a member of root, I believe. If not, I can probably do su and do who am I and get root that way. So now we have to find the flags. So there is no slash root, but Android generally likes putting things on the data. So let's do find, oh, data root.txt. So we found root.txt. Let's see, where is user.txt? Um, probably a home directory. So cat, let's see, passwd, does that exist here? Uh, cat data, is there an Etsy here? Nope. Let's see, find.grep passwd. I should do to dev null. So we're hiding error messages. Hold on. Find dot, the error message is on the find, not the grep. So to dev null. So now we're hiding error messages, so if the file does pop up, we don't really get surprised, but there is no file here. So I wonder if I can just grep for user.txt and find out where it goes. So it is in slash storage emulated zero user.txt. So I should be able to cat this file. And we get that, and then root, and root.txt, or was it data slash root.txt for that? Android is weird. So we can get both of those flags. So that's pretty much gonna be the box, but this did go really quick. So what I want to do is uh, take a look at this exploit actually. So let's go and VI exploit. I already have it open in this pane. So how does this work? This is using request. So it's doing post here. Let's set it to go through a proxy and then analyze what it looks like. So I'm going to do proxies is equal to, 
Uh, is it HTTP and then localhost 8080? I think that'll send it to Burp Suite. So now if I do Python 3, exploit.py, um, what was the thing? 10, 10, 10, 247. We can say, download a file. What was get device info? Is that it? Uh, no proxy scheme supports at localhost, so we screwed that up. Let's see. I think I deleted this. Unless that just wasn't in the script. Let's see, proxies, then HTTP. We just have to specify HTTP colon slash slash. Oh, it had something here for it. Does it use this anywhere? Nope. Okay, it's now in my Burp Suite window. We go here, go to proxy, and we can see all it does is this post and says get device info. And we can see how it responds. So list files, was that another one? No directory listing, capital F. And we can see the other command of showing the files. So let's go back here. And let's see, I think I did it down on this pane. Let's see, get file, there it is. Let's go proxy, drop, run this. It decided not to send it my way. Intercept is on. Get file. Request. So HTTP. Oh, apparently for get file, it is not a um, thing or not a post. So let's grab that line, put it there. So now when we run this, download file, see it still did not send it to my burp suite. Proxies. So request.get localhost 8080. So if I do 8081, theoretically, this should not work. Okay, so it is hitting Burp Suite. But it's just not intercepting. So let's go to options. Uh, intercept, I'm guessing it's because of this. File extension does not match JPEG. And that looks better, okay. All is right in the world. So all it is is literally a get on the URL and it's able to download it. So this piece of software on this phone was god awful, but hopefully you understand how that exploit works and that'll be the video. So take care and I'll see you all next week.